I can accept the sore throat and like maybe the minor body pains and the wet eyes and the plug nose but can't that just all stop at night so we can get a good sleep i'm very happy that this video is sponsored by bare minerals because it forces me to put on makeup and not look like a troll today okay here's my shopping list for sick asia and it's right next to my very first or i guess my very second budget guys how funny is that so I'm going to make this tea I saw my friend posted on Instagram. And then juk is something my popo used to make for me every time I was sick. So um, I'm going to pick these things up later today. And hopefully it'll work. Guys, I put on like a real shirt for the first time in like two days. So big things are happening for me today. You know, I do think it's kind of the season of just everyone not feeling 100%. And while it's always fine to just stay at home and mope around and feel bad about yourself, we do sometimes have to go out into society and make an appearance. So in honor of me going out and socializing today, I'm going to show you guys my new five minute makeup routine. I am slowly transitioning all my makeup to clean beauty. So this is my clean beauty five minute makeup routine. I'm really excited to announce that I am a part of the Clean Beauty Campaign with Bare Minerals. Living a clean, non-toxic life has become more important to me. As I get older, my um, body doesn't react to certain ingredients very well. So paying attention to what I ingest and what I put on my body has become more and more important. And even using non-toxic cleaning ingredients around the house, um, I think is really important for the dogs because you know, their paws are touching it and maybe they're licking their paws and stuff. So it's all those things that have become increasingly important and um, I'm more aware of it now. So just essentially non-toxic living, non-toxic beauty that is clean of harsh chemicals. And luckily for us, it's really easy nowadays to find products ranging from home goods to makeup to skincare that are toxic free. I have been slowly sharing some of my favorite, at least home good products that are non-toxic on my Instagram because I've been ordering them more and more. But today is the makeup beauty version of that. Okay, let's get started. You guys have no idea how hard that intro was. <laughs> wash my face put on spf since this does focus on more of the complexion i've already done my brows so we're going to begin with the bare minerals original loose powder this does have spf 15 in it but i always just like to be super cautious and careful and put sunscreen on anyways just in case you just would i would rather be safe than sorry when it comes to sunscreen and this is in tan nude they're the originators the og of clean beauty but Actually, this is the very first Bare Minerals and the um, original loose powder and the veil actually were my very first makeup purchases. My mom actually got me um, a set of Bare Minerals um, makeup for Christmas, I think maybe in 7th or 8th grade. So it's actually kind of a big deal that I'm partnering with them today for this video because you know, they've been a part of my life for so long. So of course, talking from personal experience, I can tell you that not only is Bare Minerals an amazing brand and a clean beauty brand, but they're a clean beauty brand without sacrificing performance and wear. And I think you'll really be able to see that throughout this video. The mineral foundation is full, packed full of good for you ingredients. In fact, it includes five mineral ingredients, which is really cool. And what I'm doing is I just removed the little cap, tapping out the powder into the cap. And now we're gonna go in with the beautiful finish brush. This brush was designed specifically to fit inside the cap. And as you can see, not only is the brush so soft, but the way it's designed is it keeps, it's like nicely packed and it keeps the mineral powder up top versus it seeping into the bristles. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the beautiful finished brush and place it right in the cap, and we're gonna swirl it in, making sure we get all of the mineral foundation goodiness into that brush, okay? So swirly, 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 and now it's done, and we tap off the access. Tap, 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 tap. What we're gonna do is we're gonna buff the Bare Minerals foundation 
from the outside of the face in using circular motions. Wow, look at that color it already gave me. Okay, so starting from the outside, swirling into the face. You guys know that I like to have a more natural base for my foundation, but this stuff is actually really nicely buildable. So I think today, since we are in the middle of struggle town, we're gonna add a little bit more. And then we're gonna swirl and tap. Kind of like the new bend and snap. You guys know what I'm talking about. Speaking of Reese Witherspoon, I watched um, Cruel Intentions for the first time ever the other night. And I don't even know how that movie was made. I feel like these days that movie could not be made because they said some really crazy things and did some crazy things as teenagers. I feel like that movie could not be made today. Ooh, I like it. It's nice and light. You know, I hate heavy foundation. You guys know this. So it's giving me the coverage of a liquid foundation, but the feeling is as light as a powder foundation. Now, actually, my under eyes aren't that bad. I think the Bare Minerals did a pretty good job of covering it up. But just for added safety, let's do concealer. For concealer, I'm using Chantikai in number three. Yep, number three. And I have actually been using this trick that Claire Marshall taught me, taught us on one of her Instagram stories a little while back. And what she does is she mixes a moisturizer or like a eye lotion within her um, concealer, just like this. And not only does that help with obviously moisturizing the under eye area, which tends to be more dry anyways, but it gives you this luminous finish. And I feel like, um, especially when you want want to work on your complexion um, or when you're just feeling like your skin is looking dull obviously luminosity is the way to go okay so we're gonna do this pretty quickly because we're actually almost we're basically done here so you all know that I am a fan of the multi stick like it's my favorite invention ever so today we're using Ilia and this is in cheek to cheek it is a beautiful coral color this has been my go-to you guys know i love me some bite beauty and bite beauty is actually non-toxic which is pretty cool but the difference between ilia and bite beauty is that bite beauty is matte and ilia kind of has this nice pretty gloss on it so depending on the look that i want i will choose either bite beauty or ilia and because today complexion is important i want to look bright and healthy <laughs> fingers crossed one day we're going with ilia first off let's take our little finger and just dab it right into the eye. Gotta give the eye some color. We're going to just do it on the cheeks and why not, we'll do it on the lips for now. You can either take a blender or your clean little fingers and tap it in. Then for um, highlighter, I'm using this Ritual de, Ritual de Fee. Look at how pretty. So we're gonna go right under the eye brow corners of the eye so important it's like weird when you're sick it's your eyes are watery but they're dry at the same time what is that how does that even work or er, on the highlight you guys know I'm like a dewy girl I love like when complexion looks like dewy and light bright and glowy but I feel like especially when you're sick and you're feeling sick you kind of that's like what you want your makeup to look like because on the inside you're dry and hostile but on the outside, you want to portray brightness and happiness. So I think we're going to use this bronzer from Lily Lolo. And just bronze it up, give you some more color. Because I feel like when you're sick, you're a little bit more, <laughs> you know, pale. So let's add a little bit more color. And then what I like to do also is just take the bronzer and just put it in the crease. Add some definition and add some color. This is the Bare Minerals in Bellini Brunch. So we're still sticking with that like coral color and smile. And then I like to go kind of across the nose too. Kind of like a sunburn, but not because we're trying to stay away from the sun, remember? Here is my um, Bite Beauty custom lip that I made at um, the Bite Beauty, what is it, Lip Lab in uh, Larchmont. I say let's do that and then let's see what this hair is looking like cute I like it it was looking a little messy this morning as you saw but brushed it 
<laughs> that's always a good sign. Threw it in a little bun with this bobble so it doesn't crinkle my hair and tossed it to one side so it's like a messy, I woke up like this kind of situation, you know? Look at me, I'm not sick, I'm fabulous. All up for under five minutes, all using clean beauty. This is kind of my go-to look. I mean, it's always been my go-to look, but these are my go-to products that I've been using for the past couple months. And it still gives me the exact same look and color payoff as products that I used to have that weren't clean and non-toxic, but it just gives me better peace of mind that what I'm putting on my skin now isn't harmful to me and to my body in any way. So, woohoo! Yeah, that's it. I look so much better, don't I? I don't I don't look like a scary ghost anymore. But um, I'm gonna leave the house now, run my errands, do it all uh, in a very quick amount of time so I can come back home and change back into my sweatpants and make some junk. Oh. 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 oh, damn it, it fell. That almost was a good idea. <coughs> mm. Mm. Yummy. Here it is, the juk, homemade juk. And then this little tea, which I actually think is working because I'm getting a lot of phlegm out. So now it's time to eat dinner and hopefully after I'll feel way better. That's the day. Um, just for my own selfish reasons, today's vlogmas question of the vlog is what are some of your home remedies that you use when you're sick or maybe things that you crave or that your parents did like gave you or did to you while you weren't feeling good. Um, like Jook is what my popo used to make me when I was sick. Let us know in the comments. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.